Hi guys, and welcome to this week's news. Guys. And we actually have a rest for Chris's coffee because last week he didn't have one. Yeah. And it's actually in his contract that if he has a coffee, he needs a rest. It's a matter of That's the one. <laughs> Now we've got a mysterious dino. I sure it means dinosaur. Yeah, oh, I was gonna say, <laughs> never know it, Chris. Um, a naked ro road rage. Yes, I wonder what that could entail. Uh, 3D sex toy. <laughs> you give me a bit of a background on that one. <laughs> Sounds fun. And Jurassic Park could come true. Oh, it's very dinosaur themed today, Chris. Oh, yeah, yeah, it is. Let's go on with story number one. It's or is it, a, or is it a dino? <laughs> a dinosaur was discovered in Jasper. In Jasper? Jasper. Where's that? India. Ah. Mm. With fur still on and also flesh, it is believed that the bones of this dinosaur could go back to 35 million years old. Still a bit of a thingy on the dates, but they, it's going off to get carbon dated and analysed. So once we find out, I'll let you know the crap. It's mad how they know like just the age. Like if I send that, I'd be like, I'd give it a couple of years. This sounds like my and your kind like of weekend. You do. This is something we do on a basis. <laughs> there was a naked dude running around the freeway, aka highway. What's the difference between a dual carriage and a motorway? Two lanes, there we three. go. Um, yeah, he's running down the freeway naked, high on drugs and the alcohol. The That's why you should only take heroin. Um, and, <laughs> and the police had to come, sent out the dogs. Now, Chris, I don't know how much detail you went into there. They stopped him. Did the dogs bite his penis? Probably not, no. Ah, they just kind of scared him to stop, didn't actually bite him. Imagine being scared and naked on top of a car. Oh, and he, Chris also put he was stabbing the cars. <laughs> Dog! Jurassic Park could come true. Ooh. If we a baby T Rex. It would be until it decided to eat you. No, it wouldn't because you've raised it, so it'll know who you are. Oh, it's happened quite Think a few Jurassic times. Jurassic World. Is that we raised them vipers? Vipers? Vipers. <laughs> Volteraptors. We don't know if they're still <laughs> friendly yet, though. But anyhow, a amber was found. Old it, amber? Amber. Get in. Was found. It doesn't say whereabouts it was found, but it had little insect, little ticks, and a mosquito embedded inside it. So obviously, you've seen Jurassic Park. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're saying that one of the ticks had also the mosquito contained blood in their system, and it is believed to be blood from one of the dinosaurs. It's dated back a hundred million years. The type of tick it was, it's a Dracula tick. So, like... <sighs> so, yeah. Uh, We've done like, vampire impressions quite yeah. a lot, the show. We have. Again, <laughs> DNA is getting done on it to find out more information. And you never know, people. We might have pet dinosaurs in the future. It'd be cool if we could tame them. But there'll be dickheads out there that friggin', you know, like, do dog fighting. Oh, yeah. No, they'd, like, have... Oh, now I'm sad. Go cool, buggers. You get a pet dinosaur. This next section of the video, we've just been interrupted by Beale as well. Uh, that's why we're doing take two. Um, this section of the video uh, may get us de demonetized, but it's okay. Um, me and Chris are happy being poor. No. Uh, there's a new type of adult pleasuring toy, which if you're male or female, use it for whatever you want. Um, that you can buy. It's a die. Di uh, di yep. The one that starts with a D, and you can have any face uh, printed on it that you want. And I asked Chris. Why a face? What's the need of a face being inside of you? Instead of thinking about the person, you can look at the person as well. Well, when they're in you, to look at it. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, when you well, that, that, <laughs> that, that's fine. But like when it's in you, and Channing Tatum, like if you get a camera in there, I assume Channing Tatum he's a good-looking guy. There'll be girls that want him when he's inside of you. We'll, just... we'll figure out who's bought one. We'll ask them. <laughs> we'll find one that's bought. But yes, and uh, Chris has kindly put as well. I don't know if this is a hint at me to get him one for Christmas, maybe. It's uh, £65. Who would you have on the end of yours? 
Avril Lavigne. I would, <laughs> I would have. If I had to buy one, I would have Abraham Lincoln. Fair enough. <laughs> as long as he's got his hat as well. If he doesn't have his hat, then they can have have it back. Okay. Give us your best dido pose. <laughs> this is the sports and weather with Chris and Dan. No. Sports. Yeah. Whatever. Fuck you. The weather. Chris, you're always grumpy. I'm not. You need to be happy. Really? Say yes once in a while. After this segment, we're about to go to Chris's happy time. Instead of saying no, say yes. No. See, he's not a dad. Oh, he could be the old Daniel Bryan when he used to pure. No! No! Do you want a million pound? Yeah. Chris's happy time. This week's Heart Warrior story, you might have seen it in the news for the last couple of weeks or so, is Keaton. If you don't know who Keaton is, Keaton is the young lad that's getting bullied. He's, how old was he? 10? 11? I was even 10. Something like that. The young lad uh, from America, uh, Knoxville, Tennessee. Knoxville, Tennessee. Knoxville, Tennessee. Uh, like I said, you might have seen it, he's getting bullied. He's, he made a video, well, yeah, he made a video of just basically what was going on and basically he was getting bullied. Oh, poor lad. But it's actually. 15 million views this video has had and a lot of people, I mean, I mean a lot of people, and even celebrities have like commented on him, left him messages saying, look, come with us, we'll go for a date, or come yeah, that's what watch a film it's with perfect us, or, girl. yeah, it was like, poor lad. So it just shows that there is dickheads out there and just have not better to do than just fucking bully other people. For the way they look and stuff. Mm. Well, I assume it's for the way you look. I'm assuming so. Because I, I asked you, I don't know enough. I, did he did he have for, like some sort of I'm not too sure. operation or something like that? I'm not too sure. But it's like, bullying's a no-go. I don't do bullies. I fucking hate bullies. So it's like, no. So I felt sorry for the poor lad. So if you're watching, lad, don't let them get to you. Head up. Stay strong. Adons! Happy! Ending! <laughs> Well, that was Chris's heartwarming moment, and again, nice one for celebrities to take notice because yes. they have a busy life lifestyle, and a lot of them wouldn't hang out with him. But Chris, this is usually where I would go out and find a random drunken person. Random drunken person? Am I the drunk one? Yes, maybe I have had five coffees. <laughs> uh, but this week I'm just going to fill up with good news not only do we have an awesome Captain America shield to go in mind in Chris's new studio what's wrong with that you like Captain America just continue <laughs> uh, not only do we have this shield but I who qualified forklift driver I am buzzing round of applause for me okay if you've got palletised stuff give us a bell call this guy don't really <laughs> I'll probably still make a mess but I just wanted to end on a happy note. It's been a good week for me. It's been brilliant. And uh, you visually covered it and making me feel really good about myself. Love you, bye. Keep on. Keep it up.